station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Gary Jordan. It was a bittersweet morning as three of our crew members said farewell to space and hello to Mother Earth. Chell Lindgren, Kimia Yui, and Oleg Kononenko have returned safe and sound in their Soyuz spacecraft on what was a chilly night over in Kazakhstan, completing 141 days in space and a ton of great science, research, and outreach events. But we wanted to be sure not to send them out without a little care package, though I wouldn't call 7,300 pounds little. The Cygnus cargo vehicle launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida this past Sunday. After a flawless flight and a long and carefully planned journey, the spacecraft arrived Wednesday morning where astronaut Cho Lindgren used the station's robotic arm to grapple the vehicle and attach it to the complex, revealing food, spare parts, scientific experiments, and even a few holiday treats. While there are now just three crew members left on station, it won't be that way for very long. Next week, the Expedition 46 crew of NASA astronaut Tim Copra, British astronaut Tim Peake, and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko will launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on December 15th to bring the station's population back up to six. They've been in Baikonur, Kazakhstan since November 30th, preparing for their trip to the station. They've tried on their spacesuits, inspected their Soyuz spacecraft, and brushed up on training. They even found a little time to relax ahead of their December 15th launch. For NASA TV coverage times and to watch live, log on to nasa.gov slash NTV. This week's Twitter question comes from Amy Blythe, whose first grade class wants to know if astronauts can get a cold or the flu in space. The short answer is yes, but it's highly unlikely. Some of the astronauts have come down with infections in the past, but NASA has developed procedures to be certain that no bacterium or virus ever enters the station. That's how astronauts got stuck with house cleaning duties every Saturday. But in the rare event that an astronaut does get sick, they have a small pharmacy on board that can help counter most symptoms. Keep sending us your questions and comments with the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.